All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we have here today is the side frame of a USA Trains uh, Jeep 9 or Jeep 38, basically the same size, same thing. Um, today we're going to go through installing some miniature roller bearings to replace the bushings on the uh, business end of the side frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, removing the two screws on either end. Right, so we'll just go ahead and uh, take that apart. All right, now we've uh, removed the screws and we've separated the uh, bushing blocks from the side frame. As you can see, the springs are st uh, stay in place. If you want, you can pull them apart if you're worried about losing them, or if you're comfortable, just leave them. Uh, let's take a closer look at these blocks. So you'll see that I've uh, left the uh, pickup wires intact just so that all you guys with track power you don't have to worry and just so you know i have tested one of these already with the roller bearings so there is conductivity i used a three volt battery and a led and gone from race to race and there's still uh, electrical output so uh, flip it over and you'll see the back end of the bushing. Now it's been peened over, so you can't just straight push this out or you risk uh, breaking the plastic block. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna take a drill and we're gonna go slow uh, with a little 60 degree counter sling. And we're just gonna drill through the back end a little bit. Now I'll go ahead and I'll do that and I'll uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I've taken that and have countersunk, or countersunk, I guess, if you want to call it, the uh, back of the bushings. And now you can just load it up. Make sure you, and you can take a punch, punch that out. So just set this up so that you can see it. Alright, as you can see, I've uh, punched out the bushings. There they are there. And that leaves the uh, washer tabs for the pickups for the truck frames. Like I said, if you're running battery power, you can throw those away. Uh, but I'll just show you that uh, you can make it work if you want to install roller bearings. Okay, so. Next thing we want to do, we want to take a three millimeter, sorry, a six millimeter drill bit. The bearings that we got here today, they're flange bearings, right? So they're a uh, six millimeter OD and a three millimeter ID. So it'll suit the, uh, the uh, motor blocks of the USA trains. And uh, so I'll go ahead and put that in my drill and uh, I'll show you how to drill through. All right, so I've got the uh, first one in vice. And uh, one thing, because this is plastic and uh, usually bearing fits are uh, rather precise and some, some thought and care has to be taken. So um, because the bearings are thin, you don't wanna actually have a press fit because you risk damaging the bearing. So you kinda wanna have a little uh, push fit. Now to kinda guarantee that you're gonna have a snug fit and the bearing won't fall out, without the use of glue, then uh, you're gonna wanna take the drill and you're gonna wanna line it up and you're just gonna wanna go really slow until the bearing goes, or until the drill goes through. And then slowly, slowly pull it out. There, just like that. All right, so I've got uh, both my blocks drilled out and I've even taken the uh, pickup washer tabs and uh, as you can see, I've enlarged them, filed them. The bearings will fit. Now I'll go ahead and I'll just uh, install them. 
Just set the camera down. You're going to want the soldered side up because the uh, flange portion is going to go over top of that so that it can hold the washer in place. So, take the bearing block and line everything up and just push the bearing in. There you go. That bearing is insecure. Okay, I've got the uh, blocks reinstalled, wires tucked into the groove there, screws in, suspension works, um, now next step is to install it. Now to help alleviate the wheels from rubbing up close to the side frames, I just take some uh, spare KD906 springs. You usually get leave three or four in a package every time you open them. I know uh, first time I ever uh, put KDs on, spring went flying. Then I got good at it, and then I started saving the springs for whatever reason. I don't like throwing shit out. So Anyway, what I did was I took one, and I cut it in half. Right? So you can take that over and just slip it on over the axle. Right? Take the next one over. Oops. Do the same thing. Kind of want the formed end maybe on the uh, facing towards the bearings. Now you can take your housing and uh, line it up. Put your screws in and you're done. Now you'll see like once the screws are in, when the spring collapses, it'll prevent uh, the wheels from rubbing. It also help hold the bearings in place.